I'm really happy that as part of uh, the program today, we're, we're going to hear from some of the people who are the recipients of the sorts of services that we provide to the community. Because at the end of the day, we're here not because we're agencies, we're here because of the need that we need to serve in a community. It's my pleasure to invite Alberto Segura up to say a few words about his experience here at Skills for Change in the Engineering Your Future program. To be a newcomer is hard, but at the same time it's exciting. Actually, to be the new one is always tough. To be the new student on the school, to be the new kid on the block, to be the new member of the team. There are new information to learn, new behaviors to understand, new rules to follow. However, at the end, when we finally get through, we realize that it paid off. I consider myself a confident and a positive person. However, once I arrived in Canada and start looking for a job, things turn out unknown and confused and I start to lose my confidence. Happily, I found the right help at the right time. I enrolled a skill for shame for a two weeks workshop where I learned basic but important things. Things like how to prepare an impressive resume and cover letter to attract employed attention. I learned how to carry out a focus search job search based on my strength, and I learned how to perform in an interview. It's so easy, basic, but it's, impor but it's important. It got me a new perspective of my situation and my real job possibilities in Canada. After that, I transferred a job development where I still meet many engineering companies where I wanted to work. The job developer arranged a work experience placement for me, and two months later, I was hired as a municipal and engin environmental engineering training. Newcomers like me, who attempts to get into the Canadian professional market, marketing, require training. Funding programs like Engineering Your Future is a good response. It's a good response to the Canadian government to the newcomer dream of pursuing a career in the field in Canada. As a newcomer, sharing this dream, we must be aware that the process is not easy. However, it is achievable and is rewarding. Thank you. It's now my pleasure to invite Abdullah Khalsa, also one of our clients from the Engineering Your Future program, to come and say a few words. Thank you. I came to Canada from Bangladesh in April 2006. I came to Canada with the hope of be becoming an engineer. In December 2006, I completed my exam to become a professional engineer. After sending my resume to many companies and not getting any response, I joined the Skills for Change program. The training that the Skills for Change provided me was unique, and it opened my, my eyes how to market myself professionally. Although I have more than 10 years experience in my home country of Bangladesh, without Canadian experience, this experience was not useful. So a skill for change and cape, I realized that I can apply for many jobs in engineering without being a licensed engineer. Without a skill for change, I wouldn't be working and standing in front of you as a successfully hired engineer in Canada, and especially Without the guidance and the persistence of Michelle Edmonds, my job developer, and Mary, the facilitator, counselor, and the whole EYF team, I know it would have taken me a long time to find a job in my field if I didn't have the support and guidance from this program. I would like to thank the Citizenship and Immigration Canada for having this program, program available. Thank you. And last but not least, I'd like to invite Rudy Pawento, who is a client of the YMCA, to come up and say a few words to us. Um, so we've lived here in Toronto for uh, about six months now. Yeah, like any newcomer, um, 
the first uh, few months, the first few weeks in Canada, it's, it's always a, a struggle um, in the sense that it's difficult to settle, it's difficult to find jobs, yeah. And practically speaking, it's difficult to um, even to get around uh, where you live. My two children, they enjoy their schools very much. Um, my wife also liked the city, Toronto, uh, but they didn't know my struggle, you know. <laughs> I need uh, some financial, financial support to be able to, to support the family, uh, but then I kept that uh, to myself. Um, my first job was um, uh, uh, two weeks after I, I landed in Toronto, I got a job um, in a call center selling uh, energy, <laughs> hydroelectricity. Um, I was there for two months. Uh, it was because I think I wasn't successful because um, back home I was a university professor and then here selling energy and calling uh, potential customers uh, to buy your uh, hydro and electricity. Wow, <laughs> really, really tough. <laughs> and you know, even one of the customers uh, said something like this. Um, Unless you send me someone who speaks English better than you, I will buy your. I will not buy your um, product. Uh, excuse me, sir. Uh, do you have problems uh, understanding my English? And he just hung up <laughs> like that. <laughs> wow, the first few months really, really <laughs> hard for me. Uh, so um, I went to uh, the YMC Newcomer Information Center to apply for a, a voluntary work uh, to do some voluntary work there. Um, uh, I especially, I'd like to thank uh, Natalia uh, Karoleva from coordinator of the uh, volunteer at YMCA Income Mission Center. She interviewed me and then uh, I got the job there. Uh, I call it a job <laughs> because um, uh, volunteering is a way of getting Canadian experience. People keep asking me, do you have Canadian experience when you apply for a job? Yeah. I don't know whether it's true or not, but uh, everyone, especially newcomers, think that Canadian experience is, is something uh, for them to get a job. As I do, or as I did my uh, volunteering work, I developed my confidence. Yeah. I got to know with uh, Canadian business environment, things like that. And while volunteering, I sent uh, many uh, applications, uh, four of which uh, I sent to uh, the, YMK, the, the YMC, YMC in Mississauga, in Scarborough, in North York, as well as uh, on Charles Street. And one of the application um, was uh, got a reply. So 17th January, on Thursday, they asked me for an interview. On Friday, uh, they talked to me that you got the job, Rudy. <laughs> <laughs> on Monday was my first day. <laughs> It was really quick like that. <laughs> Interview, name the job, here we go, my first day. <laughs> so uh, thank you YMC Income Mission Center for um, giving me the opportunity to, uh, to serve for the community at large. And um, I'm excited, I'm still on the training now. It's been three weeks. I'm excited to learn uh, more and more and I'm, I'm excited to go to the field to help newcomers, other newcomers to make their uh, settlement uh, and employment uh, more smoothly in Canada. Thank you, everyone. I want to particularly thank uh, Rudy and Abdullah and Alberto for, for coming here today and sharing your stories, but more importantly, for choosing Canada as your home, because we are enriched because of you and many other sponsors. Thank you.